Hey guys, so today I have for you my review of the Cargo Cosmetics Star Wars palette. This one is the light side eyeshadow palette. They also have a dark side palette and they have two mascaras. There is a volumizing formula and a lengthening formula and then they also have three compact mirrors that they released for this collection. I saw Musings of a Muse, her blog. Uh, she got the Princess Leia compact and she didn't say it was anything special so uh, for the price you might want to skip that. They are supposed to have more products coming out but I'm not sure exactly when those will come out. I don't know why they chose to release these earlier because the movie I think comes out in a couple weeks so there isn't a whole lot of time but uh, they did release the eyeshadow palettes and the mascaras and the compact mirrors like I mentioned. And I purchased mine from Kohl's which I would recommend just because you can pick up you know household necessities or socks or whatever you need from Kohl's to get up to that free shipping threshold. Cargo has free standard shipping but Kohl's you can get Kohl's cash. It is a prestige item or prestige brand so you can't apply any coupons or anything like that. I don't know if Cargo ever does discount codes but I think these two palettes at least are currently sold out on the Cargo website. So I uh, just wanted to let you know that you can purchase it from Kohl's if you are so inclined. I think they have these in store as well, or you can ship to store or whatever you need to do. I think I might have also purchased mine from Kohl's because it had Ebates, so, so you have some options, basically. So the eyeshadow palettes both retail for $28. The mascaras are $20 each. And then the compact mirrors are also $28. I don't have pricing information for any of the other items in the collection. Uh, I just know what has been released. So I filmed myself applying this eye look, so I'm going to show you that. And then I will update you after a few hours to let you know how they wore. So I hope you guys find this helpful. And if you are interested in seeing this eye look, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the first impressions part of my review of the Star Wars Cargo Cosmetics Light Side Eyeshadow Palette and the shades are just numbered and they do have I guess some little instructions here. Uh, there are eight shades in total. It says, Awaken the light side of the force with this palette inspired by the wisdom of the Jedi. The eight shades are a mix of everyday neutrals specially chosen to help you resist the darkness. So I think the dark side palette is, as you would expect, a little bit darker. And that's the outer box. And then this is what the palette looks like itself. It has some nice gold foiling and the sides of it, I don't know if you can tell, uh, the sides and the actual, I guess, background of the palette have this kind of glittery black material. And it doesn't look like... Uh, the glitter flakes off too easily so that's good and then of course it has the plastic sheet over the mirror it says uh, select from shades two through six so that would be two three four uh, five and six and blend from lash line to crease and then you blend shade one in the inner corner of the eye and upper brow bone and blend shades 7 and 8 in the outer corner. So pretty standard eyeshadow application tips there. So I haven't primed my eyes yet. I'm going to use the NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow base. Did the rest of my face obviously. And I apologize for my nails. They're a little chipped. But I figured it would be good to capture my first impression of the palette. So I'm going to take a large paddle shaped eyeshadow brush. This is from Inglot. It is the 28PO and I just rub that off on the Veramona color switch. And I'm going to start by taking this light shade here. And it looks like it is a matte. So I'm just going to coat the entire lid area up to the brow bone just to give us a nice base to work with. Okay. And then I'm going to take my 
uh, Real Techniques B04 brush and I did a review video of these brushes and they've kind of become my favorites. Uh, I'm going to take this shade here and it would have been kind of fun if they had given them names instead of numbers especially since Star Wars has such kind of a rich universe but I thought it was interesting that they partnered with Cargo I don't know if they've done any specific kind of franchise partnering. I also thought it was interesting that Lorac did the Pirates of the Caribbean collection, which is also Disney. Disney owns Star Wars now, if you weren't aware. And uh, I guess going way back, Urban Decay did the uh, Alice in Wonderland collection. So I guess there's really no rhyme or reason to it. Last year it was CoverGirl with a Star Wars collection and there's no shortage of like Star Wars t-shirts or other kind of themed items. Alright, so I'm just going back and kind of blending out that top bit. Alright, so pretty neutral, pretty subtle. And I'm going to go with this, looks like a kind of satiny champagne type shade. And I'm going to take the Chikuhoto GSN 9 and see how this, okay, not too bad. I wasn't expecting anything super metallic or pigmented, I guess. All right, so let's try using some Fix Plus. So there's two methods of doing this. I've heard a lot of people spray the brush with Fix Plus and then dip it into the shadow. Uh, Jen Loves Reviews has said that she'll get some shadow on the brush and then spray it so that you don't get the actual pan wet. And the Fix Plus comes out a little heavier. All right, that's too wet. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of dab off some of the excess moisture and then let's see if we can build this up a little bit. So my preference is definitely for like a more metallic foil look. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take the same brush and go into that lighter shade. I think I'm going to take a little pencil brush and go in that shade that we used in the crease under the eye a little bit. And then see if we can darken up the outer corner. Uh, I'm going to use this MAC 2, what are you, 226 brush. This might have been a limited edition brush, I'm not sure. And then go into that darkest shade and see how... So these really aren't that pigmented. You can use a bit of a heavier hand, which is not always a bad thing. You think about eyeshadow reviews and everything's about how pigmented something is but if you're a beginner or if you don't have 20 minutes to spend blending out your eyeshadow you might want something that's a little bit more foolproof again just going back in with that lightest shade just softening the edges and they definitely don't market this as a 
Pro eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with this kind of cranberry color, which looks like it has some sparkle in it, in that GSN 9, and just touch it to the outer third or so. And again, this brush is still slightly damp. All right, so I'm gonna go in just one more time into the shimmery shade, same brush, I just kind of flipped it around, and just go over a little bit where I might have blended or covered it with some of the other shadows. So I think I'm gonna leave it there for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna quickly do my liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just finished off the rest of the look. I used the Marc Jacobs Rococo uh, Gel Eyeliner which is okay, it's not my favorite. And then I use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and the uh, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Lipstick by Wet n Wild, and this is in Harbor A Crush. And I've just been really feeling dark lips lately.
Okay, so what do I think? So I think if you like Star Wars, if you are a fan, if you're kind of a geek, uh, not that you have to be a geek to like Star Wars, but uh, I think it's worth picking up just for the collector's value. Uh, I think I got a nice eye look out of it. I don't think it's anything revolutionary or groundbreaking that you have to go out and purchase if you're not a fan. Uh, but it is a nice little palette. It would make a cute little gift for someone too if they're into Star Wars. And uh, like I said, I didn't try the mascara because I didn't think it was worth it for the uh, $20 because those go bad pretty quickly. I might pick up maybe a highlighter or some other items uh, if those come out anytime soon. So I, I hope you guys found this helpful. I will update you in a few hours just to let you know how they wear. I do have primer on so uh, that usually works out pretty well. Hey guys, so just checking in. It's been about uh, six hours I think that I've had this makeup on. So my lip has worn off obviously. Uh, I ate dinner and everything uh, in between. So uh, I think I think it held up pretty well. There might be just very minor creasing but not really. Uh, maybe some minor fading but really I think it looks pretty good. So, so I will zoom in just a little bit. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.